Good morning, you guys, and happy, happy new year. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's a poodle mom again with the three toy poodles. Well, there's one toy poodle, and the others are sleeping on the other side. <laughs> they can't be seen. It's the first video of the year, and I wanted to make a sit down video like this just to set my goals for the year. I wanted to do this because last year everything was all over the place, and I wanted something to look back to. to Kind of test at the end of the year how much I've done and how much of my goals have been reached, I don't know, to a certain extent. Anyway, first, let's set goals with the girls. I want to be able to travel at least once with them, just all three of them, of course, to a hiking trip. It's going to be quite a challenge because this year it's going to be three. It's usually just two. And I'm very confident of my recall of the other two. The other one, I have no confidence in. I mean, I, I, I'm i confident that she's um, going to follow me and everything. But I'm not confident with how she will be when, you know, I take her to the trails or like I take her to a hiking. I don't know. We'll see. I plan to retire her once she gets her championships that's the original goal but we'll see because i am frankly enjoying showing dog shows next goal is i hope to post no i don't hope i will post at least once a week the goal is to continue the entertainment and the educational content but what i decided to do is i'm going to continue the vlogs but not regularly meaning it's gonna be an add-on content it it's excluded from the one video per week it's gonna be like an extra and i think i'm gonna call it the poodle mom diaries because that way i can do whatever with it be it with the dogs or not because i don't know i honestly enjoy the vlogmas it's just that i i didn't enjoy the work because i do everything like from the shooting all the way to the editing and everything i i do it all myself go leading from from that i am hoping to hire an editor i mean for screw it if i'm not gonna get anything from because well no i can't i have to be able to re make it reach a certain amount so that i can leave behind even just a hundred dollars for the dogs and then the rest can be for the editor i don't need any kind of take home because i think editing is the one that is kind of delaying everything that i do probably because i do other things like it's not like youtube is my full time or anything but if i am given the chance to make it my full time i do want to do it full time um at least one of the main things that i do full time because i know myself i cannot just do one thing I'm a jack of all trades. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> but yeah. Next is I think that's like the main goal for the channel. It's to be more consistent and continue. Cause I haven't even been replying too much with the comments. I'm gonna catch up to that. Speaking of which, that's one of the things that's part of the goal for the channel. And Oof, I don't want to say it verbally, but I think I have to because that's what I've been reading in all the help book self-help books that I, I don't know. You have to you have to specific be specific with your goals. Like for example, my goal for the channel is hopefully uh, reach a hundred K reach for the moon for this year. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that, but let's try. And then I've been having this idea for the longest time to start either some some sort of like interview or like, I don't know if it would be better as a podcast, but that's an additional work for me. But then if it's just going to be a video podcast and I have two cameras anyway, I think it's going to work. I can start it by interviewing my friend who owns dogs. It would be interesting to compare like here. I don't know, reflections and um, feedback, like com comparing and contrasting, like, I don't know, maybe grooming. I don't 
I don't know, video interview or like live, whatever. But the whole idea is and the whole premise is to learn from each other's experiences. Like if she can share things about what she does, but we will be more specific. Like it could be first we can target food and then we can target grooming and then whatnot. Take it from there. Because I just feel like I have been living in my own world and like my own ways of doing things that I am no longer getting new ideas. Quite frankly, I avoided social media a lot. And I mean a lot last year. So maybe that can be a way to like get out of it. Next is... I know it's not part of this channel, but I plan to monetize my other channel. It's an art channel that I do. It's more of like a personal project that I'm doing for myself. It's I, I don't want to put pressure into making the videos there. It's more of like a way for me to relax and stuff. But I do need and want to monetize it because I do need extra income. Life has been changing and you know as one income comes some also go so there's that it, it, I'm at that point where I think I'm gonna need it. It's just more of like a preemptive thing. It's not it's not like I won't be earning anything or whatever. But that's part of like one of my financial goals. If I can combine that income with this income, it could be full time. I mean that way I don't have to put pressure in myself into like getting other jobs and stuff. And then of course sustain the businesses that I'm currently running with a family. That's one of the goals. Finally set up the new branch that I've been starting. I'm actually about to head there. And I'm shooting this quickly before I forget. Because I know myself. If I put it for later. Because I'm a morning person. And I work best in the morning. If I don't work in the morning, in the afternoon, I just get so lazy. And then I will just lie down on my bed. If I either read a book, I'm going to read anything online. and then Or if not, I'm going to read a manga online that that's pretty much what kind of eats up my my whole day like i could have worked like last year especially during the break last year because our business is related to schools so when there are like christmas breaks or semestral breaks then we also have breaks that's what i love about the business but that's also part of what i hate because you know no school means no work <laughs> and no income <laughs> but you know, there, there are ways to work around it. For example, I have this to supplement it and stuff. So now I also decided to do that. Is It's partly because I feel like it would help to release whatever is on my mind verbally. Because like I said, I've done the journaling. I've, I've, I've made myself do this and that. But I've never been consistent when it comes to those things. So I think it just helps that I, I put it out verbally more than writing. It's easier for me. And I don't plan to promote <laughs> the vlogs. If people will watch it, then people will watch it. If not, then it's fine. It's not like I'm pressuring myself in the views whatsoever. The only ones that I am hoping for views would be the educational content. The entertainment content, I just do it because I want to have memories with the girls. So I'm going to be redoing the challenges. I have a few ones already that I've shot. I need to edit those. But I need to set a date. A day. For constant posting. What is the most realistic day for me? I think it would be Sunday. I'll probably be posting Sundays. Early morning. If not, Saturday night. Saturday night or every Sunday morning. That will be the educational or entertainment content. I think. Because Mondays are like super busy for me. One of the goals is to eat healthier and... Um, I want to lose a few pounds to the point that I want to look good in what I'm going to be wearing because I'm going to be showing winter, right? <laughs> but that's just like a personal selfish goal and it's not like I'm necessarily insecure about how I look anymore. Before I did, but now no. It's just that I do want to be... I don't know. I want to be able to move faster and lighter and what else so eat healthier and lose a few pounds 
that's like my personal fitness goal. That 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 that's my fitness goal. I want to be able to travel at least once, either again to Japan, if not Korea this time, and it's gonna be a solo travel trip as usual. Ah, the last one and the most important one. I want to start living a slow life, like all my life. I've been chasing after this, I don't know, goal, or I w I've been chasing after the future as if somebody has been running after me and somebody's out to get me. I don't know if there's such a thing, but my theme for the year or like my goal for the year is slow living. What does that mean for me? It just means that I want to live and experience every day and remember what happens every day. Because if you ask me whatever happened throughout during the pandemic, I have more memories of it versus the other years where I've been hustling and bustling and running around and, you know, living life normally. The, the, the pandemic, I know it's partly because of the trauma of the pandemic and, you know, the after effect of the pandemic, but I just feel like I remember more things that I did during the pandemic more than my other like other parts of my life. Not just the getting sick part of the pandemic because for me I know I'm not belittling whatever bad experiences people experienced during the pandemic, but for me during the pandemic I had good experiences in terms of self-search and finding myself and learning to live relatively simple and I think I really like that. Because I've never been a city girl. Like, even if I grew up in the city and all my family lives in the cities, my dream is to actually buy a lot either in the mountains or near the mountains, if not by the sea, and settle there. I don't want to live in the city. I'm going to die early if I live in the city. And I want a smaller house. My dream is to have a big lot. Not not too big, maybe just a few thousand square meters, a thousand, two thousand, maximum five thousand square meters, and then I will have a tiny house, a tiny, tiny, tiny house. And the land will be just for walking around, gardening, if I can grow some of my own vegetables, and um, some sort of farmstead, but a really, really small ass one where I don't plan to sell the crops or anything it's more of like for consumption and then i would have enough space for my poodle plantations <laughs> just kidding i have no plans of having a lot of poodles unless like i can afford it and unless i have the help but i do want to continue show dogs a show dog line that's gonna be under myself i've actually been tossing around names for like a kennel a kennel name because if i do want to have a show line under me then i would have to register my own um kennel so i'm i'm gonna be the named breeder of that kennel because i want to continue renter's lane not specifically for like selling or anything i have no plans of um, making it any kind of uh main source of income I know I'm gonna have to be letting go of some puppies, either to sell them or to trade them with, with my fellow friends that I trust to continue the line. It's not for purposes of um, being a puppy mill, no. You guys know me well enough for that. And even if, like, I've had that goal when I got Summer and Bailey, that's why I got females. Did I ever tell you guys that? I got female dogs because in my head, I, I can breed them and I can earn back what I bought them for. But you know what? After like them becoming my family, I didn't even have the heart. I just kept postponing, oh, maybe next year, oh, maybe next year. Until when I finally really wanted to try. So Bailey, I never considered breeding. I did when I got her as a puppy. But after I, what everything that I've learned and everything that I've shared you guys about breeding practices and... Gene their genetic bloodline and the consequences people will face. I didn't even have the heart to breed her. I didn't want to breed her, so I spayed her. And I only tried to breed Summer because I really wanted her line. But sadly, it wasn't meant to be. 
it's partly because I probably bred her too late. I think I tried when she was three and a half years old. So females, they have to be bred fast. When they're young, that's the best time. And if, you know, there are a lot of complications. Honestly, three years old is fine. My show breeder friend said, but the thing is maybe it's either Summer was having complications. If not, she was two chubs and or it was really too late. But it, it, it's not like she's unhealthy or anything. Because I before breeding her, I had her checked by the vet thoroughly. And so, yeah. So with Winter, I plan to breed her at the age of two. I'm not going to wait until she turns three. I'll share my breeding plan soon. Maybe in a separate video. But yeah. The goal is slow living. I want to enjoy every day. I want to live every day and feel it. I <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that can be part of like the vlogs for uh the Puro Mom Diaries. I you'll you'll hear more stuff about that from me. It's gonna be more of sit down videos like this, probably tossing around. So yeah. Those are the biggest goals that I have. So yeah, if any of you actually watch this, please do comment down below. I'm very curious. I, I'm quite surprised that you would be listening to my nonsense. No, it's not nonsense, but yeah. You know, these things, there's no benefit from you listening to me like this. There's no major benefit, especially when it comes to dog ownership, I guess. But it would be interesting because quite frankly, I do watch these kinds of things. So I wonder if there are people like me who would do that. You know, there's another thing, there's another aspect about me that I have never shared online because I was embarrassed about it. And it was like something that I was bullied for growing up. Um, it was like, I'm a weeb, okay? I love games, but I'm not like a gamer or anything. The game that I got addicted to too much growing up was like Ragnarok online. And I want to get back to it. That's one of the things I want to do. And I have this student who became my best friend because I taught her since, since she was grade one. Uh. Oh my god, that's revealing my age. But anyway, <laughs> she became a best friend. I'm not going to tell you her age now. <laughs> She's my best. I consider her my youngest best friend. And I've been considering starting like a podcast channel. Just a, vo um, a voice podcast channel about the animes that we watch. And like maybe reviews. That would be so interesting. Because I think the anime... Um, <laughs> The anime, uh, what do you call that? Fan base would be interested in that. Because it's just, when I listen to the, I don't know if it's just me, but when I listen to the two of us, like we can talk nonstop nonsense. And her reactions are just so funny. And I'd be so stoic sometimes. And <laughs> she would get frustrated. I don't know. That's something I want to do. But I don't want to make it a goal. Because she, yeah, let's just leave it as that. <laughs> I, I, I don't have plans of making it a goal. But it would be interesting if I could actually do that with her this year. Wow, 21 minutes. That's probably the longest I can possibly do this because, again, I don't want to, I don't want to make it too long to the point that I personally will not even be willing to watch it at the end of the year because I plan to rewatch this. So, Erica, how are you? How is the end of the year? Is it much better than last year? I am curious. So I'm talking to myself. How are you feeling now? Because our Christmas was terrible. I don't know if it was because of our period, but it was terrible. I had so many insecurities. Feel I was feeling so many insecurities. But for the first time, I actually allowed us to feel it. So are you doing the same thing? I sound so ridiculous. Anyway, we'll end it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of the Poodle Mom Diaries and see you guys in the next diary. Again, everything uh, posting, regular posting will be resuming this whole week starting this Sunday. I think that's the goal. Bye.